I'm Justin Nichols, Mayor of the City of Manitowoc, and thanks for tuning in today. This past week, the League of Wisconsin Municipalities, and specifically the Urban Alliance of Cities, drafted a letter to Governor Scott Walker regarding the budget repair bill. Thirty-nine cities, including Manitowoc, signed on to the letter. The letter contained three main subjects. One, to clarify language on wage increases in Act 10 to only encompass the context of collective bargaining agreements. Two, Avoid forfeiting over $46 million in federal transit aid. Under the Federal Transit Act, continued receipt of federal transit aid requires the continuation of any collective bargaining rights that were in place when the employer started receiving federal funds. According to the Legislative Fiscal Bureau, the dramatic reduction in the collective bargaining rights of municipal employees included in Act 10 could result in unionized transit systems in this state losing $46.6 million in federal funding. To ensure this does not happen, we are urging the state legislature to add language to the budget repair bill keeping Wisconsin in compliance with the Federal Transit Act and the U.S. Department of Labor requirements involving transit aid and employee rights. Finally, to require police and fire employees to make the same mandatory pension and health insurance contributions as other municipal employees. Act 10 currently exempts represented police officers and firefighters for making the mandatory retirement benefit and health insurance contributions the Act imposes on other municipal employees. Police and fire departments typically make up between 40 to 65 percent of our annual budgets. Exempting police and fire from the pension and health insurance contribution requirements makes it very difficult for cities to balance our budgets without making significant cuts to other vital services. If we are going to ask municipal employees to shoulder the impact of the state's budget deficit, then the burden should fall equally on all municipal employees, including police officers and firefighters. However, we are not recommending stripping their collective bargaining rights. Don't forget that next week, Tuesday, April 5th, is Election Day in the City of Manitowoc. Elections for City Council will be held in District 1 between Lee Tennis and Colin Brunell, District 2 between Scott McMeans and Steve Elpert, District 3 between Chris Abel and Chris McBurney, and District 10 between Jason Slatke and John Bilka. You are able to register to vote at the polls, and all polling locations are available on the city's website, which is www.manitowoc.org. The winter parking ban has been lifted, unless otherwise noted, for the entire city of Manitowoc. Vehicles can be parked on any city street at any time. The summer parking ban begins on April 1st. Check the city's website to see when your district will be swept. There is no parking allowed in that district on the specific day while the sweepers are passing through. As always, feel free to contact me anytime with any questions, comments, or concerns. My office number is 686-6980, or you can email me at mayornichols at I'm Justin Nichols. We'll see you next week.